Reflection is not solely an individual activity, but it may be greatly enhanced by engaging in dialogue with others, such as colleagues, clients, preceptors, and students. Kumagai and Naidu offer an example of how reflective dialogue changes the conversation in the following description of a medical situation. First, a medical team evaluates a 62-year-old woman with abdominal pain and jaundice and discusses a diagnosis and management plan. Second, the workup culminates in the same team breaking the news to her that she has an inoperable metastatic pancreatic cancer. In this situation, the generation of a diagnosis and the sharing of technical facts with the patient are at the center of the practice experience. The healthcare work is focused on the knowledge and expertise of the healthcare team. In contrast, breaking the life-changing news prompts reflection and dialogue that consists of much more than an abstract discussion. The focus shifts from the strictly clinical to the profoundly human, and there is a point at which individuals step into an attitude of reflection and introspection. Here, the questions of life, death, suffering, and care are explored. Furthermore, if the conversation is approached with authenticity and awareness of the human meanings of the situation at hand, the members of the team as well as the patient and her family engaging in dialogue may bring previous life experiences, personal values and worldviews, thoughts and feelings into their considerations of what it means to give and receive such news.